Looney Farm Guy here, and this is the Man TGS Skip Loader by S. Bax on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, backend, console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl map for this demonstration. It is 17.09 megabytes to download. We'll find the um, truck itself under trucks. Here it is, $130,000, 500 horsepower. Manual transmission, 400 liters of fuel, 49 miles per hour. It is 19 slots on console. We have some choices of wheel brands, Trelleborg, Continental, BKT, and Trelleborg. Trelleborg is the only one that you can change it to a wider tire. Everything else is wide tires standard. Um, then we have colors, main color. Uh, we have a, a number of custom colors. They're all metallic. Uh, let's go. Yeah, kind of like that's almost a khaki type of a color. Um, beige. Got the, the orange. Got a yellow. Um, got this, the, the, their, their standard color. Let's see. What about custom? Sorry. Um... Giants colors, no no charge for that. Loading platform, we only have black, black, blue, or that one. The crane arm, we have all the colors. You can make it that one. And then rim color, we only have a few chrome. So no charge for any of the colors, which is refreshing, actually. I like that. So the, the price is the price, except for if you go for the... Uh, wider tires it's a thousand dollars so um i have rocks in here we will show you all the things about how to oh it even has straps i didn't even notice that before nice right so let's hop in interior start up it's uh, obviously um based off of the uh, base game man semi truck but with a uh, what they call it a skip loader on the back let's get our help window on there we go so um right let's take a look at the lights the signals signals are neat i like the signals nice well lit lots of lights the beacons up top are uh very nice. So plenty of light, plenty of beacons, and I've run into something. We have a hitch on the back, which I will demonstrate. It is a pin hitch and a ball hitch. And with the rocks, uh, the heaviest thing that I could put in there, uh, it works well. And as you can see, ball hitch, yes. And just so you know, it will hook to a pin hitch. A horn. Hmm. Decent horn. Right. So let's park this over here. Turn it off. Uh, lights, lights. There we go. And uh, hop over here because the, I'm going to show you. Uh, how to connect the skip. Oh, the skip. Yes, uh, the skip is under tools and miscellaneous. Nearly forgot that. There it is. $1,500. 6,000 liter capacity, 600 kilograms. It is a bulk product, so you can put anything you want in there. You have a cover, yes or no option. Basically, I like a tarp. And the skip color is a few, um, a few custom colors. Blue, the matte or satin orange, uh, white, uh, John Deere. John De oh, we have a, an interesting array. It's somewhat giants. Yeah, John Deere yellow. Okay. And Voltra. Also pink if you choose. $1,500. Oh, so the giants palette cost $1,500, but custom colors is no extra charge. Right, so. 
operation of the hook lift. Now, this is somewhat similar to the um, other hook lifts we have, but different, <laughs> if that makes any sense. L1 and X. L1 and X, and that extends the loading arm. Now, before I do that, the mistake I made was not not lining up to the so first thing you need to do is back up to the skip now I don't think it matters which which end you go to because it hooks in the middle so let's go there you want to you want to have it just right behind like so now L1 and X and it will do this it will extend out that the attachment now as you can see it's pretty close but it's not giving me the signal yet to attach it why because it's not quite there yet so R1 and right stick left and right you can you can move now those up and down and out in and out so now as you can see here it says attach so you press X and there we ho there there we ho there we go now we can we can either do this and put it like so and using our R1 and X and so forth however our uh, our legs are still out and if we try to drive around it's going to be mm, not good so what do you do L1 and X It's actually supposed to go through, it goes through the whole, yeah, as if it was extended. And now it's going back. There we go. So, <laughs> to unload it, just reverse the process, press X. Uh, the adjustment thing, you don't have to put it back. So we're unloading it now. You can unload it. And then once it's there, you press X. Press X again, and L1 and X, and it will just go through the process again. So if you do it manually, you, you won't be able to retract the um, those feet. Right, so now with that, we have it up here. Oh, let's go back over here. L1 and that left on the D-pad opens and closes. Uh, we also have belts, so if you um, I don't know, put bales in there or something. There's tension belts in there, so um, yeah. Um, filling up, oops, filling up. Uh, you can fill it from a silo or anything. So now it's just like a hook lift. You fill it from a silo. Let's put, um, now why is it not? Oh, that's odd. Oh, well, that's really strange. Why is it not filling from the... This one did. I filled it with rocks from this, and it says start filling. What has changed? Is it on backwards? Lizard, 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 lizard. Have I found a glitch? You can only have one at a time. Is that? <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, to empty. So you have filled it. Mm, that's that's very weird. Um. Do I have to be... Nope. Won't fill with anything. Uh, empty. Uh, empty it out just like anything else. L1 and... And it does this. It does... 
does a little sticks out those little um, braces so it dumps it dumps it pretty nicely like so just like that so this one works it just puts it back so it's a bit of a process <sighs> um weird right that one lets us fill it I put them on just the same way let's put uh, manure in there yeah okay um, if anyone knows why this one won't fill and that one does that would be interesting yeah look at that um, let me flip this around all right so after more investigation I have figured a couple of things out one of them is you need this side to be at the back otherwise it will not connect so if you're having trouble getting it connected make sure that it says tip side to the back of the vehicle when you're connecting the other thing that I figured out was uh, I know why it wasn't loading notice this one has a tarp and if we go back in here and look at miscellaneous and skip we can have the cover or no cover well if you have the cover option chosen so as I do in this one I have chosen to have the cover it will fill with whatever you want if you go back over here the no cover option you do not get the option to fill is that because um you well anyways that's what it is for whatever reason if that was intentional or unintentional that is the reason so if you're not able to fill this up uh, put the cover option on like so well you don't have to have it on but you have to have the cover configuration active on your skip in order for it to fill right so uh, yeah the only other thing will you be able to dump in there yeah that's a great question all right so we have a combine here with barley in it and uh, the uh, it will not dump into the no no tarp or no cover optioned skip however if we go over here and dump this out so here we are and yes indeed it will fill so as far as that goes that's the only issue I found and now it was interesting to note that in the mod description the modder s Bax says that uh, it's his first mod so any problems found please get in touch with me in touch and I will rectify ASAP however he doesn't give any contact information so hopefully he sees this and perhaps uh, that will get fixed um, so unless somebody else knows how to get a toll get a hold of this modder <laughs> I do not if you are asking gonna ask but anyways there you have it that's the man TGS skip loader by s -Bax on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching I'm Louie farm guy and remember it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.